presented by Sprite, the 2K Sports pregame show. And welcome, everybody, to the Rising Stars Challenge. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with the setting sun, Shaquille O'Neal. Get that? No, Rising Stars, setting sun. Oh, good one, Ernie. Even though it went over my head, it's still a good one. Tonight, we'll see the elites playing against the stars. They're looking to come out strong and make their mark early. They have to look at this game as a great opportunity to do just that. Hey, Shaq, that Rising Stars game. Um... Hello, welcome, everyone. The NBA Rising Stars Challenge, as we'll see the best and the brightest young players in the NBA face off with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. This is Kevin Hart. You know, Kevin, this is always a nice way to set the stage for the All-Star game. Kind of an All-Star game on training wheels, if you will. <laughs> the beginning stages of what's to come down the road. Well put, special. Yeah, well I like put. that. What do you think about that, Steve? I, I like that a lot. But, yeah, this I think you're right, uh, Clark. We're going to see a lot of these players in this game uh, move on and play in the real deal, the, the showcase of at the All-Star game down the road. Uh, we'll see when, but... Uh, these guys are so talented, this young crop. So it's nice to see, uh, get a chance to see. Them earlier in their careers, uh, as they're setting out to become stars in this league. Now a look at the stars starting lineup. We've got Randall. Burke is out there with Exum. Then there's Parker. And it's Plumley in at the five down low. And that one's good. Well, you start to see why he's been such a key player in the first half of the season. Yeah, getting really big minutes, and he's more than ready. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris? I was able to speak with Dwayne Casey for a moment. He spoke about what a fun time it's been getting to know the young stars who are part of the Rising Stars roster during this All-Star break. He said they are just wonderful individuals and they have the drive to succeed. You'll be seeing them play in the All-Star game soon enough. I have to agree with them, guys. Thanks again, Doris. And we're seeing right here the defense is definitely optional. Yeah, and we're seeing which option the players are taking. <laughs> You know, guys, this Rising Stars Challenge, in my mind, is a really good opportunity for young players to make a statement and separate themselves from their peers a little bit. Well, it never gets old to see the incredible talent on display here at All-Star Weekend. Yep. And this year is no different. Well, pretty much all of the events are a lot of fun to watch, and uh, it's a combination of tremendous skill and entertainment. You can't beat it. Good on both. And, you know, this Rising Stars Challenge really one of my favorite events, but I think it has potential to be even better if the teams would be committed to playing more like a regular game. I understand the entertainment value. That's important. But let's be a little more committed to playing the way they typically play. And I think that would add great value because you have such tremendous talent out there, hungry, talented, impressive players. Very well said. Very well said. And finished off by Oladipo. What a smooth finish. Well, he's certainly the one they won on the end of those breaks. He always finishes strong. Burke with it. Kicks to exit. Passes to Parker. Six to shoot. Count it from 12. Parker's got nine points. The Rising Stars Challenge, really a great way for the league and theory to introduce fans to some of the great talent, Steve, coming into the NBA. Yeah, I mean, these guys may not be household names just yet, uh, but this is a part of the process. You know, playing in this game uh, is an honor, and for these young guys to get the chance to showcase their talents here at All-Star Weekend and just get a taste of what's out there for them if they can really improve and make it to the big show. What a game for Parker. He already has 10 points, and he's put one three-pointer on the board. Yeah, he's got to take his time behind the arc. And at the free throw line, it's all about consistency with him. Same routine, same stroke. Now, here's Oladipo. 
He kicks it to Smart. Over in the corner, Zeller. And that one's good. They're off and running. Good start here. They've knocked down four of their first five. Here's Burke. Second change shot. Plumley, no luck. I think we've seen the defensive intensity start to ramp up a little bit. Yeah, I think so, Steve. A little more effort here as the game has progressed. Here's Tiny. He's got five. Poked away, and so out of bounds it goes. And they retain possession. Eight seconds of the shot clock. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Down to five on the shot clock. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Tiny's got seven. Well, I tell you what, he's really been a pleasant surprise with his play this season. Yeah, not the most heralded young player, but he's shown that he belongs among the top players in his class. Now, here's Burke. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Randall with a screen for Exum. And blocked. And they're able to recover. Here's Parker. He trains it from the right block. Well, as you'd expect, not much defense being played. Yeah, that's one for the fans. I mean, the, the fans want scoring. That's what they're going to get tonight. Here's Tiny. Off target from three-point range. So it's the Stars now. And Exum gets it to go on the assist by Burke. Exum's got his first two points. Impressive fast break there. They did a great job advancing the rock with the pass. Smart passes to Tiny. There's the pick. The kick out to Oladipo. There's the pass to Tiny. He feeds it to Oladipo. Here's Tiny, and he goes in for the dunk. None of the defenders wanted anything Clark to do with him on that jam. And I do not blame him at <laughs> all, partner. He was coming in with a bunch of steam and was ready to posterize whoever decided to get in his uh, way. All right, I understand, fellas, but come on. You've got to challenge him a little bit at least. And the Stars have possession. After the Elites pick up two, the Stars shooting their third and fourth free throw shot to the night. First free throw is good. Exum hits them both. And the Elites decide to take their first time out here. Yeah, I think he, he believes that if he takes some time here to kind of talk things over, it'll be well served for this club. And you know, maybe this gives him an opportunity to toy around with some of their game plan while he has their attention during this break in the action. Now here's Smart. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. The Stars with the lead. Parker with it. Now guarded by Smart. Count the bucket. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision making for them offensively. Yeah, absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding. They are piling up the assists. Smart with the ball. Burke covering. And Exum comes to help. Smart kicks to Oladipo. Stolen by Exum. And now the fast break Exum with the ball. Parker dishes to Burke. Parker outside. Exum with a wide open look. Plumley the pass to Randall. And stolen by Zeller. Pushing it up. Pass to Tiny. Dishes to Zeller. Feeds it to MB. Stolen by Randall. Here's Exum. And Oladipo pulls it down. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. And slam dunk by Smart. Savage, that's, that's the way to get some momentum on your side. Absolutely. Those dunks can really have a deflating effect on the defense. Especially coming from a guy out of the backcourt. But they get it back. Randall kicks to Burke. Fangs home the trifecta. Burke's got himself on the board with three there. You know, they've been beating this club to a lot of loose balls and rebounds here early on. Love the work ethic they've come out of the locker room with. Here's Tiny. He's got nine. A wide open look here for Oladipo. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. 
the Stars leading by five. And here is Burke. Here's Plumley. That one falls coming off Burke's feet. Burke's got four assists in the game. Solid screen right there that freed him up for the jump shot. There's a good screen. Here's Tiny. No good. And it's the Stars the other way. Exum dishes to Plumley. The feed now to Burke. Lays it up and banks it in. And now a nine-point Stars lead. Boy, this game is off to a terrific start. No doubt. On both sides, high-octane offense. Here's Embiid, and he makes the eight-footer. Embiid's got his first two points of the night. 152 left here in the opening quarter. Burke kicks to Parker. Over in the corner, Randall. He dishes it to Exum. Pass to Burke. Parker with a clean look. Another three for the star. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. Yeah, they're making the right play. They're working together, and they're just looking for the best shot they can every possession. Burke, the pass to Exum. Pass to Tyler. It's Oladipo on the wing. One ten left in the first. Smart, wide open, he fires. Drills the three-pointer. Smart's got his second bucket tonight. Seems like guarding him on the perimeter is not a priority for this defense, but it will become one if he continues to knock them down. Plumley sets the pick for Burke. Down low, and that one ends up out of bounds. And they retain possession. They had no choice but to lunge for that pass to stop it from getting through. Well, that was a good job. It could have been a quick bucket if he doesn't knock it out of bounds there. And it's a completely new group for the elites. And a new group getting ready now for the Stars. Noel's checked in for Plumley. Wiggins comes in for Randall. Stauskas is checked in for Exxon. And it's Carter Williams in for Trey Burke. In terms of rebounding, it's been a sensational opening quarter. I like sensational. That's a good word for it. Fires the three. And again, it's the elites from deep. Now, they're not showing too much respect for him defensively, are they? 26 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Now the dish to Carter Williams. Parker left side. Parker left side. Again, the miss by the Stars. They set the pick. To the wing on the left. Hardaway for three. Oh, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. It's the Stars leading by four. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. Next Monday night, February 23rd, the Houston Rockets go up against Tim Duncan and the San Antonio Spurs. Don't miss it. And we're back once again. The spotlight on the talented first and second year players here in the Rising Stars Challenge. Kevin, so far, spectacular plays all over. Well, it's the young legs. All, all that balance makes for some impressive finishes. Well, you know, you always want your side to win, but I, I think it's pretty common that we, we don't see too many fouls in these games year to year. Steve, you're exactly right. I mean, I think we usually see a few here and there because guys are also reacting based on instinct, playing the game similar to how they know how to play basketball. But aside from that, you usually aren't going to see too many whistles. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. And so in the game for the elites, we've got Hardaway. Steven Adams is out there with Rudy Gobert. Then there's Nate Walters, and it's Andre Dekumbo in at the three spot. And Carter Williams slams it in. 
textbook example there of how they use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Stars. Boy, their frenetic defense has really been impressive, putting a lot of pressure on ball handlers and turning them over. Another big aspect of their game tonight has been the fast break transition opportunity. They're really keeping it up tempo so far. Now here's Carter Williams, right wing. Here's Parker. Let's it go from the baseline and nails it. Parker's got 18 points. He is feeling it. A terrific percentage from the field. On to Takumbo, dishes to Walters. Fades away. Count it, and the Stars' lead has been cut back down to three points with the bucket from Hardaway. And here's the Stars. They've led by as much as 10. So timeout called here, the first for the Stars. Here's Wiggins. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Parker kicks to Wiggins. He feeds it to Noel. He's it up and in off the pretty assist. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. <laughs> yeah, and it's a strategy that has served them well in this opening half, Clark. Here's Zonda to Kumbo. Kicks it to Walters. Adams, the pass to Hardaway. It's stolen by Stauskas. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. He kicks it to Carter Williams. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. Wiggins, no good on the triple. He leads trail by five. Onto Takumbo, dishes to Gobert. Here's Zonda Takumbo. Carter Williams covering. Lock at six. The elites need to get off a shot. Onto Takumbo can't get it to go. And the Stars leading by five. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. You know, guys, when you push it hard like that on the break, those are the easy buckets that'll be waiting for you. And Walters kicks to Gobert. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jabari Parker. Cody Zeller's checked in for the elites. Tiny comes in for Gobert. And then for the Stars. Ando comes in for Parker. And Nelson is subbed in for Stauskas. Zeller passes to Hardaway. Here's Tiny. Another miss by the elites. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. Nelson kicks to Carter Williams. Back to Nelson. Shot clock at six. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And it's a nine-point Stars lead. Look at the points in the paint, the inside game. It's been very one-sided here for a while now. Well, the defense just hasn't been physical enough at the rim. I mean, eight of their last ten points have come from the paint. Here's Zonda Takumbo. The pass to Tiny. Here's Walters. Traps in the tray. Walters got six points. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. And the Stars leading by six. Wiggins has a screen for Carter Williams. They set the pick. Dishes it to Wiggins. From the line. Eyes yet again. And it's good. Walk through contact. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. Boy, they are just destroying them in the paint. You could say that again, Steve. The defenders just aren't aggressive enough down low. Some changes for the elites. Embiid, he's checked in front of the combo. Victor Oladipo comes in for Hardaway. And Smarts.
Subbed in for Nate Walter. The Stars also with the sub. Birch is checked in and stolen by Noel. And here's the fast break. Carter Williams leading the way. Powered down as the whistle blows. A three-point play chance. Nice ops and determination that time. Uh, Clark to get to the rim. We know he can bounce right there. An example of how dangerous he is when he's got a path to the hoop. I mean, you love the versatility, guys. Being a point guard, and in this situation, they tack on two more points, expanding the lead in a pretty deflating way for the defense. Here's Tiny. He's got nine. Easy layup after coming off the pit. Tiny's got 11 points. You know, if you were only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would be ahead. Carter Williams kicks to Burke. Plumley sets the pick for Burke to the left wing. For the three. And that is good. Burke's got his third bucket of the night. Well, you can't leave him alone, especially from long range. He leads trail by 12. Pass to Tiny. The nine-foot shot, and he gets it to go. Well, when you know where your teammate is going to be, it, it doesn't make it a difference whether it's a, a normal game in the regular season or an all-star weekend. I, I agree with you. I mean, they play well as teammates, and you're going to just naturally make plays with guys that you're used to playing with here. And the ball ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Now here's Randall. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Feeds to Oladipo. He dishes it to Smart. It's Oladipo on the wing. Passes it to Tiny. There's a good screen. Off the screen. That's good on the jump shot. Tiny's got 15. And fellas, in this quarter, he's improved on what was already a very good performance in period number one. And Trey Burke gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Well, I love it. He gets there first, absorbs the contact. Nice play defensively. No flop there. He took that one right in the chest. Here's Tiny. 15 points in the game. And MB throws it down. Now, as far as the defense goes, Clark, that is not what's going to keep them in this lead. Yeah, but from the other perspective, you can see just how much that dump pumped those players up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree, guys. I sense a little bit of a momentum shift here. Now, here's Randall. Using his post moves to get the two points. Here's Smart. To the left side wing. Tiny. Offensive rebound. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boards. Any extra possessions that you can get, either through steals or rebounds, are so critical in this game. 15 seconds. The Stars making a switch here. Axum's checked in. On defense, the Elites. Eight point game. Burke kicks to Carter Williams. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. An indication there of why the scoreboard looks like it does. Very passive defense. But the finish was anything but passive. No, he, he hammered that down, Clark. Superb above the rim action. And there's Randall on the exit from Carter Williams. Carter Williams has got three assists now in this one. Timeout called the elites. Well, they're getting way too many easy shots in the paint. So this timeout is specifically for that reason. You've got to tighten up the defense and start to make it harder for that offensive team. I know it's easier said than done, but right now it just doesn't seem like the necessary effort is there. Here's what the elites have going on right now. Go Barry's checked in for MB, and I'm a subbed in for Cody Zell. It's got to be nice for them to know that game in and game out, this offense is going to be there for them. Now, here's Burke. Eight points for him. Out to the right wing. Carter Williams kicks to Burke. Here's Randall. The layup off target. Boy, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite fight his way through traffic. 136 left here in the second. The feed to Smart. Rebound by the Stars. 
Plumlee's got seven rebounds in the game. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. Love it. Old school. Just physical play in the paint. Dominate. Here is Tiny. 18 points for him. Some really terrific numbers for Tiny. 18 points, and he's picked up six points from behind the arc. Now, his outside stroke has looked really good today. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Parker's checked in for the Stars. Both good from the line that time. And the Stars leading by nine. And uh, 101 left to play here in the second quarter. Burke dishes to Parker. Now here's Carter Williams. Tight defense on him. These defenders are not putting up much of a fight on the interior. It's been embarrassing. That's 10 consecutive points allowed in the lane. And that's not the kind of streak you want to have if you're playing defense. Here's Tiny. Carter Williams covering. That's good. And it's now 22 points for Tiny. What a quarter for him at the offensive end. He's ignored the scoreboard and continued to go out there and do his thing. Carter Williams against Oladipo. Now Carter Williams. He's got six. Plumley sets the pick for Carter Williams. And he connects on the jumper. The screen did the trick. Carter Williams has got eight here in the quarter. That lead should be safe if they keep shooting like this. Well, they're on fire. I mean, they're absolutely on target and looking to pad that scoring total, too. Tiny, the pass to Smart. Out of bounds. The Stars will take possession. Well, that's inexcusable to throw a pass that far off the mark. There's 10 seconds left in the first half of the game. And a foul on Marcus Smart. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. Plumley with it. Out to Parker. Three seconds left. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Parker's got 20 points. Kevin, he's definitely making his presence felt here in the first half. He's been very effective so far. Tiny. No luck. And that does it for...